Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts, where I do crafts in my pajamas. I'm here with Brie, and we are bringing you three Dollar Tree Spring DIYs. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to do some DIYs? Yeah? Yeah? Let's do it. Buggy? Yeah, buggy. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's so hard to get pictures of my stuff when Bree is awake, like the crafts I've done, because she's just trying to grab them while I'm <laughs> taking pictures. But anyway, <laughs> I thought it was cute, so I threw that one in there. But to get started here, I just have... <laughs> Oh, bless you. I have Brie here with me doing the voiceover, so you might hear her a little bit. But to get started here, I just have this spring sign from Dollar Tree. I removed the string. It's really easy to do when they have that little plastic thing on the back. You can poke it right through, and then you can put it back in once you're done if you want it to keep the hanger. I just decided to paint this entire thing um, the, with the white Waverly chalk paint. You guys can always sand off the glitter on the other side if you wanted the back to be, um, you know, just that nice plain brown color. But, hey. <laughs> but I don't care, and I would rather not do all that work. Plus, a lot of times I do go back later and make it a double-sided sign. So next, after that paint dried, I have this stencil that I made on my Cricut with some Dollar Tree contact paper. I just used the washi tape setting to cut it. Um, if you're not familiar with a Cricut, um, I know Jennifer Maker has a lot of really cool videos and there's a ton of other people out there with awesome videos on YouTube to help you learn how to use it and what it is and everything like that. I'm not the best at explaining, but I just used my little stencil I made. If you don't have a Cricut, you can get your own stencils or use a free printable or something like that. There's so many ways to transfer, yeah, and you definitely don't need to have a Cricut. But I just used some ink colored Waverly chalk paint for the letters. I love this saying. Um, we watch the sound of music probably a thousand times as kids. I feel like it was my mom's favorite movie and so I really like that. And then I had, um, oh, I guess I showed in a different DIY, which I put later in the video. Should have put it first, I guess, but it doesn't matter. Have these butterflies from Dollar Tree. I just painted them white and then I decided to distress them a little bit with my truffle chalk paint and and then I just went on to distress the edges of the sign a little bit and just a tiny bit all over the sign. Um, but these butterflies are actually stickers and you can find them in the um, spring section or not spring section, like by the moss and stuff like that. Anyway, I think it came out really cute. <laughs> so on to the next DIY. This one's a little more girly and shabby chic. I'll probably put it in Bree's room. But here's the stickers I was talking about. They look kind of like mirrors. But I just used some white Waverly chalk paint. They're plastic. Um, but they have sticker type stuff on the back. I did use hot glue to um, attach them to my projects because... The sticker's really sticky, like, to your hand, but not when you try to put it on your project. Go figure. Um, but I had this old canvas from Dollar Tree, and I didn't like what was on it anymore. I was terrible at hand lettering back then, and so I was just ashamed. I'm kidding. It doesn't matter where you're at. Um, but I've been practicing since then, and I just did not like the way that sign looked. <laughs> So I just decided to paint over that and I used um, some folk art chalk paint, but you can use whatever you have. Ballet slipper is really pretty in the Waverly chalk paint too. So next I'm just taking a bunch of scraps that I had on hand. Ribbons. These doilies are from Dollar Tree and I just had scraps of those. And then this little piece is my favorite thing about this. It's it was my grandma's. I think it's like for holding needles. I'm not sure, but I thought it would look so cute on here. And then we also have these pearls from Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using. And I just played around with this a lot 
The pearls on the string are from Hobby Lobby. But I just played with this a lot. Like, this took me a long time, guys. It's all sped up here, but... And I cut out a bunch of me just going back and forth, back and forth, not being able to decide what I wanted to put on there. <laughs> but I used one of those butterflies. I hot glued everything down. I had these pink burlap flowers that I made a long time ago. I pulled them off another project and put them onto this one. Then I didn't like it, so I ripped them back off of this one, put some other flowers on. It was just a whole process, but in the end, I really liked how it came out. I like the memory of my grandma when I see it, and I think it will be super cute to put in Bree's room since it's so girly. I love the little pearls. Like, it's just so shabby chic. Love, love it. Then just taking some more of that scrap ribbon that I had on hand and um, making a little bow and just hot glue that down. Then I switched these to like old paper flowers that I had. And in the very end, this is how it turned out. I think it's super cute. So on to the last DIY. This one I started out with a sign from Dollar Tree and this was actually um, one of those tag signs. It's an Easter one and I'm sorry I forgot to show what the front looked like. <laughs> I think it said this chick is ready for Easter and I had like a chick and some eggs or something on it. And then I just decided to paint the whole back of this one white too. And for some reason that footage disappeared. I could not find it. Anyway, you guys seen me paint something a thousand times so I'm sure you're not too worried about it but <laughs> we're just using another um, cut out from my Cricut this time I am using the vinyl letters this vinyl is from um, Arteza they sent me some sheets quite a while back I will put the link down in the description in case you guys do want to go use that please guys I need help with my Cricut how sorry if you hear this bag Bree is playing with some puppets that were in a bag and it's making a lot of noise um but you guys I need help so every time not every time but a lot of times when I am making something on my Cricut it comes out a little bit bigger than I expected like with the sizing I don't understand what is going on if you guys can give me some tips please help your girl out because like my G got cut off and then I had to try to make a new G and then it was like a little bigger than the rest of my words and I had barely any of the of the vinyl left and it was just a whole a whole mess but in the end it did turn out cute I think let me know what you guys think you helping mommy cook? Yeah, we're making pancakes, aren't we? We cooking? We cooking? <laughs> Good job. You're such a great helper. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Say, what a mess. What a mess. Did you try to eat some pancake batter? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. You did such a great job. We gotta cook them now. Mommy's gonna cook them. That's so fun. <laughs> Ignore the stuff under the cupboard that she has pulled out. <laughs> wow, so fun. If 
if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIYs like these. Don't forget to hit me up on my social media. It's in the, all the links down below, including my Facebook group where you can show me all of your amazing creations. I love to see those. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!